I've watched my colleagues at NWR play Starlink a whole bunch of times, but it was only very recently, last week in fact, where I finally got to go hands-on with the game myself, and I gotta say, it was really cool. The combat is great. You control the ship with both analog sticks, the left is for movement, the right is for steering. It takes a little bit to get a handle on the controls, but once you got it, you can do some really cool dogfighting. Um, the aerial combat is inspired by space sims of the past, games like TIE Fighter, you might remember that game, really cool, uh, based on a little movie called Star Wars, and, uh, you know, of course, the original Star Fox is also a major inspiration. Starlink is a really nice looking game. The Switch version may take a visual hit if you're gonna compare it to the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One versions, but the strong art direction really helps out, and the game looks great in portable mode. I asked the game's art director, Daniel Ebanks, about what inspired the art, and he revealed that a major influence was the Miyazaki film Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Uh, the music is great, um, a number of Star Fox tracks make an appearance. One thing that was really cool was the Corneria theme from the Super Nintendo version of Star Fox shows up during a boss battle. I'll never surrender, especially not to the likes of you! Please now listen to the game's producer, Matthew Rose, talk a bit about Starlink's main story. Starlink is an open world action adventure game uh, set 400 light years away from Earth in the Atlas star system. Uh, and it's going to put you in the hands of, uh, in control of a team called the Starlink Initiative. And one of the really cool things about this team is they use these modular starships. And the game actually uh, features a physical starship that you can mix and match uh, and combine different pilots, different ships, wings, weapons, uh, to really customize your ship. Uh, and you know, not only change the way that it looks uh, to really suit your style, uh, but also you know, directly adapt to overcome the different challenges that you encounter in the game. Before I go, I must mention that you can play the entire game with a buddy, thanks to its split-screen co-op mode. The game did appear to take a bit of a framerate hit when enabling it, but it's still very playable. I'm excited to see how the final version of the game turns out. Thanks for watching.